Megalodontia, also known by his close friends as Joe, is the latest King Salmonid to make it into Splatoon 3, arriving with the December 2023 big run. This King Salmonid poses a unique challenge compared to the others, so I'm making a little guide on how to fight against it. Now, the thing you should know about Megalodontia is it's very similar to Moors. In fact, it's just like a giant version of Moors. Effectively, it's going to go under the surface and then rise up to try and eat you just like a normal Moors does. Rather than using bombs like you would on a Moors, however, this King Salmonid has a particular weak spot which is fairly obvious thanks to how Nintendo has designed it. When facing against Megalodontia, you'll see it submerge and target you. During this time, a large circle will begin to follow you and the other players around, indicating where it's going to emerge. After a certain amount of time, that circle will stop and then you can expect to see Megalodontia arise and swallow you up. It can even swallow up other bosses which will give you golden eggs, a useful tip that you might like to know. If you've managed to get away from it and not ended up swallowed, then you might see this giant mark on the back of it. This bump literally is X marks the spot. This is its weak point and where you should be attacking it, so throw your golden eggs and your weapons and such at this point. From what we can see so far, it seems like Megalodontia will take a lot more damage when you hit it at this particular point, but as far as I'm aware, it can take damage from practically anywhere. It's similar to Horroborus where you kind of need to hit it with the bomb that it's throwing out. You definitely want Megalodontia to target you in a nice wide area, so you have plenty of room to target him with his weak point. If you're stuck in a small crowded space with this boss, then you're going to have a bad time. There's going to be a lot of chaos going on around you, so you've got to make sure you've got plenty of room to hit that weak point. Overall, Megalodontia provides an interesting challenge for Salmon Run players. It's certainly unique compared to Horroborus and Kohozuna, but like I said, it's fairly similar to Amors, so if you've faced off against a lot of those, you should know what you're in for. Just keep an eye out for when it's targeting you and make sure you're not in the range when it decides to swallow you up, as you'll have a limited amount of time after that target disappears. Thankfully, Nintendo has made its design very clear on where you should actually be hitting it. Like I said, it's literally X marks the spot, so that's a nice little tip. You'll actually be able to see from the Salmon Run lobby now when Megalodontia is in rotation as a little Samo meter which shows you how long you have until you can face against the King Salmonid now accurately represents the King Salmonid which is a part of that rotation rather than just looking like Kohozuna every single time. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful with some just general tips. If you have any of your own more specialized tips, make sure to leave them down in the comments section to help other players out. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.